What's going on guys? Overlord Gaming here and I'm back with another computer video. Um, recently I bought two one terabyte hard drives as a uh, video storage and they've just seemed to not be recognised in Windows all of a sudden. I mean, they're not clicking or anything, they're not breaking, but they're not being recognised in Windows. So what I'm doing is I've unplugged them all, including my system drive. I've unplugged all three. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a demo on how to plug in three SATA drives. I know it sounds really simplistic, but you might want to do cable management and all that as well. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to guide you through it. Um, how to fit a hard drive bay as well, because I didn't originally have one. But now I do, so I'm going to teach you how to fit one of these as well. They're yeah, really simple. Uh, it's literally just two screws, that's it, they're in. But yeah, I'm going to guide you through it. Uh, that's it pretty much. Check it out. Alright guys, so here I am with my computer. Um, sorry, let's get these cables out of the way. Um, so what we're going to do by, what we're going to start by doing first is just plugging in the uh, hard, uh, not plugging it in, screwing in the hard drive um, bay. So what you do is, there's a screw there and a screw there. And if you look at it, there's a screw hole there and a screw hole there. So what you do is you just hopefully slide it in like that. Um, you do have to be careful with these screws because uh, it'll focus. It's not going to focus, is it? Is it? There you go, because they have a spring on. So you have to be really careful with these screws. Make sure the spring doesn't pop off or anything. Uh, basically the spring's just there for anti-vibration. So, what you're going to do is you're going to just take it like that. Um, start doing it by hand, because they are thumb screws. So you're just going to screw it in loosely. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your other one and screw it into that bottom one there with your thumb, uh, your thumb, with your hand as well. So just do that. Just start screwing it in like that. Until you can't tighten it anymore. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come up here with a screwdriver. And then you're going to tighten them up. So just don't do them too tight. Just do them tight enough. Else the anti-vibration won't be able to work. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting in the empty tray. The one that we don't need. So we're just going to put that in on the bottom rail. Um, then what we're going to do is, the fun part, is getting these in. So let's slide the first one in. Don't put them in all the way just yet. Only slide it in halfway for now. That is not right at all. Okay, ignore what I've just said. What you want to do first is take the first drive that you want to put in, so in my case it's the system drive, put it in the top and then pull these down through like that and then plug in the power lead, like that. And then what you want is a high speed SATA for your, for, for your system drive, or the other way around, whichever, whichever one you prefer. Uh, so that's the first one in, so now you can clonk it in. I will probably do some cable management after this video as well, because it's not looking very good so far. Um, then what you're going to do is, you're going to take your first drive, your first storage drive, uh, place it in, halfway, take the power lead, plug it in, by the way guys, it's going to get really repetitive, plug it in, find a SATA lead, somewhere, choose this one, Be, be fairly cable managed 
because I'm clearly not. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your third and final drive and plonk it in there. No, you're not. You're going to take it out, put the power lead through first, Then you're going to plug it in, put the SATA, power, uh, SATA data lead in, plunk it in like so, and then that's it, really. Uh, I mean, yeah, I will come back and do some more cables management because, I mean, that is not very good at all. That right there is not very good. So. Yeah, I've got it installed now, so that's all good. Um, what you're going to do is, you're going to plug in your power lead. Uh, yep, I have power, so that's a green light. Uh, then what you want to do is, you're going to turn your monitor on first, before you do anything, because mine doesn't switch on automatically. I'm just going to close this door quickly as well. So, you want to power it up. Make sure you can hear all the drives initialing, uh, initializing. And then once you've done that, head up into the BIOS. Right guys, I'm not quite sure why, but it took quite a while to boot into the BIOS. So, what you want to do after that is to think, well, it's there. There's only two hard drives detected. Um, after that, just pop down into boot, hard disk drives. And why is there only two drives? What have I done wrong? Okay, well, let's just try and boot it anyway, because if it's my system drive, then I'm going to be quite worried. So it's going to hopefully post in the BIOS. Please post. Right, so it's posting, that's always good. Oh, okay, so it's not my system drive. By the way guys, um, I've already been using these two hard drives. So they they do still have data on them, but they're in a, they're in a stripe volume. So it's basically a two terabyte hard drive working together as one. Uh, it's two one terabytes working together as one to make two terabytes. So, it is pretty good. Um, I'll be back to you guys when this thing's booted. Right guys, so it blue screen, which is quite unusual. But it's blue screened, it's still currently uh, shutting down. I'm not quite sure what it's doing to be fair. Um, so yes, it's still shutting down. But once it's shut down, I'll unplug it. And take the three drives out. No, not taking three. Uh, just take these two drives out and flip them the round because it could be what's causing it because they're not flipped because they're flipped around. Uh, I might not have put them back in in the same order. I'm not sure if it matters or not, but it's always worth a try. So let's just start by pulling this one out. We're going to put the other hard drive in first to see if that fixes anything. So, put that in like that, put that down and through, push it in, plug it in. 
think actually what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try and load it into the BIOS with only one drive connected. Okay, so let's just plug it back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load it into the BIOS with just the one slave drive connected to see if that does anything. So wait, like, if it is the hard drive, then we can figure out. We can figure out if we need to if I need if I need to buy a new hard drive or not. So let's just load that up. Okay, so as you can see there, it's detecting two Samsung hard drives, which is always good. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to power down the machine, point you back towards the hard drive there, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this hard drive here, plug it in, see where the power port is, so it's kind of the guessing game, there it is. Alright, so now that that's in, take the SATA lead, and the SATA power lead, hang on, let's just take this out because we're not using it. So now we're going to put that back in, right, that's in. So now I'll switch the machine back on. Hopefully it'll go to BIOS. Oh, okay. So there's one there, one there, and one there. Oh, okay, so let's just reboot my computer and see if that fixed it. Um, at the end of this video, I will be doing a request to see if you guys want it. Um, I'm not going to tell you just yet, but I will tell you at the end of the video, so uh, look, look forward to that. Um, so, let's just log on. Hopefully. I'll come back to you when it's fully boosted up. Okay guys, so I'm back. It's fully booted up now, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close that. Um, as you can see, the two hard drives are there and they are being used perhaps so slightly. If I just maximise that. As you can see, disk 2 and disk 0 are there, but disk 1 Obviously, my system drive is still being used, so what we're going to do first is we're just going to go up in command prompt uh, then type in disk cart. So, once that's loaded, uh, we're just going to do list disk. List disk. As you can see, it even recognises that they're uh, both dynamic. So, uh, then what we want to do is list volume. There you are, look, size 1863 gigabytes in a striped volume. Ah, hang on. It could be something to do with not having a drive that's to assign. Oh, that would explain a lot. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have a drive letter. How could I have been so dumb? What's that? Okay. So, we can assign the drive. What's that? Add. Yay! Here it is. Okay then guys, so that wraps it up. Well, that wraps up the computer side for this video. I still have to do a request shoot, so I'll do that now. So, I'll be with you guys in a second.
guys, so that wraps it up for the computer. Uh, I'm glad I've, I've got it fixed because all of my videos were on there, so I'm glad that that's now fixed. So, also, um, leave a drop in the leave a comment in the section. Uh, I can't speak today. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you want me and my girlfriend to do a uh, challenge video or something like that. Uh, leave me suggestions, what you guys would like to see. Um, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this entire video now. So I will catch you guys in the next video. By MSI. So it, it is the um, Sapphire edition from MSI. So it's, it's, it's pretty good. It comes over clock.